So in this video, we're going to go through how to set up a sender profile. Uh, you'll need to know how to uh, set up a sender profile in order to be able to send your first campaign. Uh, this is the prerequisite to sending any campaign. So this is the first thing you do once you onboard your accounts. And you could do this as you're setting up new uh, brands that you're uh, going to be mailing to. You'll create a sender profile for each brand. So uh, without further ado, first things we're going to do is we're going to go up to the settings area here. We're going to click this and we're going to go to sender profiles. What you'll see here is uh, there are no sender profiles set up yet. Um, what we'll do is uh, click the add here and uh, we're going to click, um, we're going to put in a sender profile name and I'm just going to use our company name here. Uh, you can put whatever you want there. That's for you to see. No one else is going to see that. Uh, on step two, you'll be setting up your from address. So in this case, I'm going to put it my own. And I'm going to click add. Now, you'll see here on the right side, it asks you to set up your DKIM and SPF. And that's what this is down here. Now, I've already set this up. However, I'm going to show you what you need to do. So first things first, you can click on this link here and this will open up uh, a step-by-step -step guide on how to set up your DKIM as your first step and your SPF as your second step. First things first, I will go to my DNS hosting panel. Uh, in this instance, it'll be uh, a cPanel uh, DNS zone editor. Um, we also have documents on how to do this through uh, GoDaddy and um, some other hosting uh, providers as well. So those are all listed under the help area. If you go to help.emercury.net and just search for those articles, you will find those. So here, I'm just going to set up the first part, which is the DKIM. And you'll see it says the record type is text. So I would go in here and I would create a new record and I would set it as text. Uh, the second part of this article says to put the host uh, name in. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this em dot underscore domain key, and I go right in here under the name area or the host name area, depending on what service you're using. I'm just gonna do a control V to paste it there. And you'll see it auto fills in the domain here. Now the record here, we're going to see, uh, if we go back to this article, it gives us the value here, right? So this is, uh, we're gonna copy after the colon, the V equals all the way to the end. And I'm gonna click copy and I'm going to click paste and you would click add record. And that DKIM is now set up. The next thing we're going to do is set up the SPF. Now, uh, there's two parts to this. So I want to make sure that you're not just looking at the first part. The note here also says if you already have an SPF record, all you need to do is add the include to the existing SPF record. And here's an example. So let's say your SPF record looks like this and maybe has an IP address of your mail server and also maybe another uh, ESP you would simply add our information right after it. As you can see in this example here, we are added our information right here with a space and then the ending line. So in this case, let's go and create, um, we'll go in here and we'll look to see if we have one first. So if I scroll down, I know I do have one because I did this before. Um, and it is actually listed right here. So if I was to go here and edit it, um, you'll see that this is already here. Um, I could add it again, just to show you that all I'm going to be doing is copying this and pasting it in here and making sure that I have a space in between that last part. And I would click save. Now, what I did here is I made a duplicate of that same thing. So I'm gonna go back in here. I'm just going to remove that duplicate um, so not to confuse you. And you'll see again, just one space and I hit save and that's done. 
Now, once you've added those two records, you can go back into where we were and you'll see there's a button here that says DKIM SPF check. So our system will go out right now. It says they're both bad because it wasn't set up. And if I click this, it's going to go out and do a check. And you'll see now that DKIM and SPF are okay. And there's a green ball there saying it was um, checked correctly. The red here you'll see is for the status, which is unverified, which means the email hasn't been verified yet. Now, um, I will go to my email and I'm going to look for this confirmation. And I do see it here at the top. And all I'm going to do here is click confirm. And it says now I can go back in there and check. And I'm going to, if you'll see in that email right there, it says, uh, you can go there and hit the refresh button. So in here, you'll see there's a little refresh and now everything is green. So this step two is now done. And that's actually our hardest step. Uh, step three uh, is the reply to address. If you plan on using the same from address and reply to address, then you can go right to the next step. If you decide that you don't and you want a different reply to address, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna add that here and you're gonna click add and it will do a also a verification. So in this case, I'm just gonna say no and I'm gonna go through. Um, and click next. And that brings you to our brand URLs. Now there is an article here as well on how to set up your brand URLs. I'm going to click that right now. There's also an example here that tells you what to do. And I'm going to show you how to do that using the same hosting panel I was using before. So if I click on this article here, it will tell me what I'm going to be adding. You'll see this similar screen right here, and you'll see the records that it's telling you to create. Same thing as before, except this time I'm creating the record type C name, where before we were creating the text. So I will go in here and I'm going to create a C name. I'm going to go to the top, and you'll see I have these already created here. But what I'm going to do is just to show you, I'm going to delete these and recreate them just to show you these steps. So I'm going to click add record and I'm going to go back to my article. Uh, let's close out of that article there. And it says the, the host name is going to be IMG. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to type IMG. Uh, this is CNAME. And you'll see it also fills in the domain. And then it says as uh, it's going to point to, and I'm going to copy that. So I'm going to hit Control C. And I'm going to put a Control V there without the space at the end. And I'm going to hit Add Record. So now it added the first one. The second one the article says is to create a URL, and this is for tracking uh, tracking your clicks. The first one is actually for uh, masking your images. Um, so we're going to go again, and we're going to create a C name, and we're going to create the host name as URL. So let's do add record, C name, and URL, and you'll see again it adds the ending there. And we're going to point that to url.emo1.net. And I'm going to go in here, copy and paste, and hit add record. And I have those two set. And then the last here is for tracking. We use this for the uh, uh, forward to friends and uh, footer tracking. Again, we're doing a C name here. So I'm going to hit same thing, add record. C name. I'll copy the word track. And you'll see it fills in the end. And I'm going to copy where it points to. And I'm going to hit add record. And you'll see 
that those three are now listed. Now, when I go back in here, I should be able to put this information in and check to see if this is working. Now, uh, you type it in, what you just created. If you forgot, you can go here and you can look. These are the three that we just created. IMG, URL, and track. You don't want to use the, the period at the end. Um, so you'll see here, I didn't use the period at the end. Um, URL.emercury.co, and then for the track, it's track.emercury.co. And if I click check domain, which is similar to the DKIM SPF check, this goes out and it checks, and it says that is working successfully. And I check the URL, and that one is as well. And I can click on the third one. And that looks like it is good as well. So once I click Save, you'll see all three now have a green circle and the date of when we check this, they all pass successfully. And we can go on to our last and final step. So here, we're going to put an organization name and I will put in our organization. And I will put in peel box we use. And the country. And the alignment uh, where I want the footer to show, I'm going to put it in the center. You can put that on the left or the right or the center. Uh, this text line here is if you want to add some additional text to the footer, uh, that's a custom text that will show up on the footer. And you could also add your logo if you'd like. Um, in this example, I'm just going to keep it as text. So I'm going to hit Save Settings. You'll see it says it saved successfully. And uh, I'll save that sender profile. And I'll go to the last um, Next button there. And it shows a summary of everything I've done. So it shows a green checkbox next to everything that's been completed successfully. If you see a yellow exclamation point, it means that step is not complete. Um, all the green checks mean you have completed the five steps. However, you have one last step to do. Um, this is to verify your postmaster address. Don't forget this step. This step is important. Uh, basically, what you're going to do is we're going to send a pin to the postmaster at uh, the uh, reply to or the from address that we had there. So you'll see I used uh, michael at emercury.net. So this is going to send it to postmaster at emercury.net. This will send it to your postmaster address. So whatever domain you're using, it'll use that. Um, you'll need to work with one of our um, support agents or uh, uh, onboarding agents to do this. Once you click this button here, it should pop up on the side and you should be able to send us a message uh, by doing that. And that's it. Uh, once you get that done, you should be ready to go. You can click return now and you can see the sender profile name that you created in the beginning is available. Now, once that's done, now once you go into a campaign, you'll be able to create the campaign. I will show you real quick um, what that looks like when you go into your HTML editor. And I'm just going to go and put in some information here just to show you what step two looks like. And you'll see now in step two, we do have um, the from address in there that we just created. Let's go and hit refresh and go into step two. And you'll see there it is. Um, if you didn't do the sender profile, nothing would show up and you wouldn't be able to get past step two, which is why we ask you to create the sender profile before creating your first campaign. So with that said, that is everything on how to create a sender profile. If you ever need to go back into sending, setting up your sender profile or editing it, again, it's in the menu here. You click sender profiles. 
it is here. There is an edit button right here if you need to go through it and change any of the steps. Just remember to always click Save Sender Profile. Thank you.